Hey, what's up everybody? This is John. Today I'm going to install a WR1-ST, which is a high power headlight kit for an 86 to 91 Vanagon. As always for safety, please disconnect your battery before beginning any electrical work in your vehicle. We're going to begin by removing the front grille from the van. Turn the five flat head fasteners a quarter rotation and pull the grille free. Next, you'll unfasten the four Phillips head screws holding each headlight assembly in the vehicle and unplug them from the wiring harnesses. As a note, with the headlights free from the van, now's a really good time to consider a thorough lens cleaning, new adjusters, and sandblasting or treating the frames for rust prevention. Remove the old bulbs from the lenses and replace them with the new higher wattage bulbs included in the kit. Be sure not to touch the glass portion of the bulb and always handle it by the base. The low high beam bulb fit in one way only and the collar rotates to lock it in place. The high beam bulb is also directional. Pay attention to the cutouts in the base and seat it in the proper orientation. For the high beam bulb, secure it in the housing with the tension clip. Attach the brown ground wire to the open terminal on the lens housing and plug the white wire from the bulb into the housing cap. Rotate the white cap onto the lens housing. Reinstall the headlight assemblies back into the vehicle along with the grill and move inside to the fuse panel. Once inside, drop the fuse panel to access the wiring behind it. Find the yellow wire coming from position 21 of connector A. In some vehicles, this wire may be orange in color. Cut this wire about 4 inches from the panel and strip about a quarter inch off each end. Connect the yellow wire from the low beam relay to the wire coming from the fuse panel. Crimp the other open end of the yellow wire to the white wire of the low beam relay. Check your connections and make sure they're secure. Now locate the white wire coming from position 22 of connector B. We'll repeat the same process here that we just did for the low beam relay. Cut this wire roughly 4 inches from the fuse panel and strip about a quarter inch from the ends. Crimp the yellow wire from the high beam relay to the side coming from the fuse panel. Crimp the other open end to the white wire from the high beam relay. Find an open terminal on the ground tree located behind the fuse panel under the dash. Attach the two black ground wires from the relays here. Next, find the open power block on the back of the fuse panel and connect the two blue wires to any open terminals. Remove the backing from the Velcro on the relays and mount them on the inside of the dash sidewall. Be sure to remove any trolls hiding in the dash's wiring and mount the fuse panel back into position, being sure not to pinch any wires. The last step is to replace fuses in position 9 and 10 with the provided 20 amp fuses and test your lights for proper function. 